hey guys welcome to this channel so i'm going to be showing you a video and guys you have to watch this video to the very end i posted a video previously if you have not watched that video you have to go and watch that video of a man like this pastor right now is trending big time of his prophecy and everything he prophesied guys is actually coming true for the fact that peter will be cried the fact that tinubu was put into a position like tinubu was announced as president so this video i'm going to be showing you is a man guys and this is not a recent video this is a three weeks ago video even before the election guys so this guy said everything almost exactly what is happening right now anyway guys watch and tell me what you think about it on the comment section good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are all over the world i appreciate you all for following this series on prophecy towards the new Nigeria. Um, today, we are. I'm going to give a reminder prophecy. This prophecy had gone forth before, but it's a reminder prophecy. It's a reminder prophecy. The reminder prophecy is the prophecy that took place in September. 21 20 I gave this prophecy in September 21 2022 20, in that September 21 2022 20, I told you that Pito B will win the election I told you that Pitobi will win this 2023 election. But, but, that is Bola Med Tunumbu, will be shakingly, shakingly. That means fakingly or falsely declared as president. And this will result to revolution. We have I've said it and I'm still saying it. This is a prophecy given in September 21, 2022. And this prophecy, you are going to see it come to pass. It's going to come to pass. The reason why this prophecy is still coming now is because of what the Lord gave me on that day, Proverbs chapter 1, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22 to 26. Verse 22 say, How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproach. Behold, I will pour out my my spirit unto you i will make known my word unto you verse 24 he said because i have i have called and ye refuse i have stretched out my hand and no man regarded he said but ye have set at naught my counsel and would none of my reproof i also will laugh at your calamity i will mock when your fear comment god is going to mock us god is going to mock politicians when their fear come because fear is coming fear is coming for politicians who refuse knowledge who refuse wisdom fear is coming and god said he will laugh at their calamities he will laugh at their destruction because he stretched forth his hand and they refused. He said he will make their counsel to be at naught. He will make not their counsel. That is it. That is the word God gave me on that September 21, 2022. Now I am going back to that prophecy. That prophecy stipulates that Peter B will win this election 2023 election but but will be shakingly declared as a president 
but this will result in revolution. I've told you that election is going to take place. Election is going to take place. The presidential election will take place. I said it in June 20. 2022. In June 20, 2022, I said it that election will take place. And I've always told you that there will be relative peace during the election. So don't be afraid. Go and vote. Get your PVC ready. Go vote. Many of you don't, don't have PVC because you refuse to go and collect it from an INEC. It is not INEC fault. It is your fault. God cannot come from heaven to go and vote for you. It's you that will take your PVC and go and vote. So, take your PVC. Those of you that have your PVC, take your PVC. Go and vote. Vote God's perfect will. Now, I told you that the election result will be inconsistent and a shamble. I've told you in June 22nd that the election, the ele election result, that's the presidential election result, will be inconsistent and it will be a shambo. Now, that word shambo is the word I received from the spirit realm. The word that I received from the spirit realm. That's the word that the Lord gave me from the spirit realm. Shambo. I said it in June 22nd. You are going to see this result. It will be inconsistent and it will be a shamble. This presidential election result that is going to come. It's going to come. Now, I told you that there is going to be rigging. Now, the Lord told me that there will be rigging. The, the Lord told me that there will be rigging, and I told you, I didn't hide it as I received the message, so I told you, this is what the Lord told me, so that we can avert it, there will be rigging, and this rigging, I told you, is going to take place, I said it in October 14th, 2022, and I told you that this rigging will be detected. The, the good aspect of this rigging is that the rigging will be discovered by Nigerians. Mark this word. The rigging will be discovered by Nigerians. Nigerians are going to discover this rigging. Whether it's through the beavers, whether it's through the um, um, vote uh, uh, manipulation or whatever, this rigging will be discovered. This is the word of the Lord, I told you. And when it got September 21st, I told you that Bola Ahmed Tunumbu will be shakingly declared as president of Nigeria. That shakingly is declaration is going to come from some group of people. That shakingly declaration is going to come from some group of people. When we say shakingly declared, it means that the result is going to be a fake result. It's based on falsehood. The result is based on falsehood. There is, the result is a, it's a tempered result. It's a manipulated result. So the declaration is a declaration of falsehood. It is a declaration of falsehood. It is a declaration that is based on a fake result. And this is what is going to bring about crisis. I told you in June 20 that there will be crisis. This crisis is going to be spearheaded by youth. Youth are going to say no to this result. Then some successionate group will not join. And this is what is going to bring about crisis. I've said it that Nigeria will discover the irregularities in this result. Nigeria is going to discover it. You are going to see irregularity. And that's why I told you that the election, the election result or election is going to be inconsistent, inconclusive, and a shambo. It will be a shambo. 
when we say inconsistent in other words you are going to see a situation where this media house we say is Bola Med Tunubu. Another one we say no is Pito B. Another one we say is Bola Med Tunubu. Another one we say is Pito B. And I've told you that one of the media apps that you should trust in this 2023 is Arise News and Channel. These two are going to give you results that you will you will know that this is based on, on fact, on truth. Others some of the others will also give you truth but some will give you false so it's going to be some will be based on falsehood while some will be based on truth now but if i told you it's going to be at close tide with some government official based on his connection and in the process you saw the vision that i told you i saw I saw a vision of bola Ahmed tunumbu it will be and Atiku Abubakar. Now, Pito B, after the result was announced, Pito B's eyes became very red. Why Bola Metunubu was in close tide with some government officials. I've said it before. And because of that, OB will go to court. I said it in October 10th. October 10th, that OB, Pito B will go to court. It will be is going to go to court, but in the process of going to court, there will be an interim committee that will be formed. Now, that interim committee is me that call it interim government. It's me that call it interim government, but the actual word I heard is interim committee. So interim committee will be formed. I told you there will be an interim committee in September 26. But the first thing that will happen before the interim committee will be formed is that a military will take over, not military coup. So don't quote me and say military coup, not military coup. There will be no military coup, but military intervention. You are not going to have military coup, but military intervention. When the revolution or crisis will start, there will be military intervention. There's going to be military intervention. I said it in September 26, 2022. You will see a military intervention and, and the interim committee will be formed. Now, in that interim committee, they will work towards peace. They will work to ensure peace. Buhari is going to ensure peace. Osibanjo is going to ensure peace during this interim committee program now i've told you that obi will be declared president by the court and obi will will be installed by the federal republic of nigeria this is going to be a joint force that will select obi and install obi the force will involve the interim committee the president of federal republic of nigeria and then the military the three of them will come together and decide, let us pick Pito B. And Pito B will be picked up and then installed as the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. I've said it that Bola Ahmed Tunubu will not be swept in. This is a vision I saw. In the vision I saw, I saw Bola Ahmed Tunubu waiting to be swept in as president of Nigeria. And the military came and took him away and an interim committee was set up and the head of the interim committee gave a speech and then the whole Nigerian waved at him. So the issue of whether Bola Ahmed Tunubu will sit on the throne is not an issue. I've told you that Bola Ahmed Tunubu will near the corridor of power but will not sit on the seat of presidency. He will only near the corridor of power. By the word of the Lord, so shall it be. He will, he will get close to the corridor of power, but will not sit on the presidential seat. I've told you that Bart will not be swayed in. I told you that Obi will be swayed in. I told you in January that Peter B will be swayed in, but not in May. 
29 i see a date push further i see a date push further and ob peter b was swept in as a president of federal republic of nigeria this will come to pass you will see it it will come to pass wash and pray take your pvc go and vote vote your conscience vote for the perfect will of god nigeria is at the verge of falling but god's hand is upon this nation and he has selected a man which will help to take this country to a new nigeria and by the grace of god you are going to have support from general lushegun of asanjo i've said it before the two generals one from the southwest one from the north i also mentioned in another dimension that uh, obj and muhammad Buhari. In, in the first dimension i said obj and ipp second dimension obj and muhammad Buhari. they are going to support this new nigeria you will see it is to come to pass watch and pray obi will be swear in as the president of the federal republic of nigeria god bless you watch and pray god bless you